Chill Sean back for another video. Surprise, surprise, we got a Savvy Saturday. Hey, are y'all excited? Like, I'm excited. I'm so excited for this Savvy Saturday. I have not budgeted in so long on the internet and with you guys, but I've still been budgeting in 2022, but it's not as aggressive as it was when I first started. So y'all know I went hard in the paint, okay? It's an old saying, if you're old, you know what I'm talking about. I went hard in the paint in 20 through 2017 to like 2019. I think about early 2020, I fell off. Like the pandemic, I was just like, whatever, whenever, however, when it came to my budget. And so I'm trying to get back on track. Um, I'm still doing really, really good. I think I am wasting a little bit of money, but we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, but yes, I am definitely, definitely trying to get back on track with my budgeting and start back using my cash envelopes. So I stopped using them for a while as well. And I realized I need to use them to keep me in line. Um, so yeah, I am still winging my way into staying within my budget and trying not to spend up all my money before the end of the month and unfortunately some categories are very very low so <laughs> we may replenish them with the next paycheck but i am going to try to get myself back down to um aggressively controlling my spending um so in today's video i'm going to just give you guys an update on where i am in life when it comes to finances and you know how everything's going so i think everything's going pretty good we all waste money at some point in our life we all have a spending season a savings season uh, um just a balance season and i just came out of a really long spending <laughs> season with no savings whatsoever <laughs> so I am going to start back maybe a balance season I'm going to try to do a balance season or either a savings season one or two I'm not going to do a lot of spending but I'm going to do some spending I don't want to restrict myself to spending money and having a good time because that's what I like to do you know I'm very much a homebody but when I want to go somewhere and do something I want to go somewhere and do something and so I should be able to do that I work hard every day take care of this house my family people at work and I take care of business and I adult very well so I should be able to enjoy myself at that time so that's what I plan on doing all right so the first thing I want to say is that I am still using my cash envelopes and I believe I will still stuff my cash envelopes you guys let me know if you like the portion of my budgeting videos where i actually stuff my cash envelopes i know people do it all over the internet everywhere and theirs are just really really interesting they have nine thousand categories they're stuffing ten thousand dollars at a time child your girl ain't got that much money okay the most i'm gonna stuff a month is about six hundred dollars so if you want to see my little six hundred dollars stuffing of the cash envelopes every single month and i only stuff them once a month some people stuff it every two weeks some people stuff it every week I'm a month ahead, so I decide to stuff mine once a month. So what's the point of coming back two weeks later? Maybe if I stuff it every two weeks, I wouldn't spend all my money up in one one go. What do you guys think? I still on the month days. I stuff it every month. I still have my same cash envelope wallet. I will be changing this up. I don't have my other little wallet with me. I'm actually talked about it in a vlog. If you guys watch my vlogs that I went down to like a little wallet size by Kate Spade because my purses are actually getting a lot smaller so they won't necessarily fit in here. And I thought about maybe ordering some, a really mini binder from Etsy. A lot of the budgeter people sell really cute small binders that will actually fit in my little purses. So maybe I'll look into purchasing and supporting a small business and buying one. So I think I might do some research, look all over Etsy and see how, what's the smallest thing that I can find that's like a binder like this. And I'll use this from time to time like if I take a big purse or something or I'll go back to big purses. I'll just have options. Right now I don't have any options. I just have this big old one and the other one that's black and white. And so I need some a little small, okay? My purses are tiny now. I don't know if I'm going through a small purse phase. I used to be a big purse girl now. My purse is about this big, so <laughs> you guys see. So I, I let me know if you guys still want to see that, and I will stuff them for you gladly at the end of every video. Um, I'm hoping to have a budget video at least once a month. I'm not going to say twice. We're not going to make them promises, but you're going to get one at least once a month, okay? That's for sure. All right, so the two, um, well, the three ways that I'm going to be so I'm, in the end, I'm going to end up having two ways that I budget. Right now, I'm experimenting with two of them. One of them I know I'm going to use, which is my spreadsheet. 
you know my spreadsheet is my tried and true i need a check register i grew up in the age of check registers i don't even think these young folks know what a check register is okay your girl still need her check register to balance her checking account give me an amen if you still use a check register go and comment that in the comment section say i use a check register i still use one i don't know if y'all know what it is if you're in the younger generation but the check register is the jam that's how i learn how to budget and how to balance my checking account is with a check register so i have a check register and so i'm just gonna have to use it it's just i need it i need it okay i just need it um so the two options that i'm going back and forth with now are ynab which i'm sure you guys heard of it's called you need a budget and i've actually played around with it before and it just wasn't in my budget to pay 99 dollars a year but i don't know why because i was spending money on every other thing else and i could have paid for why why you need a budget 17 times in one year so don't ask me why it was back in a mindset where money was just like that's not worth investing in when it actually was it's just not that's it. Um, so I have a free trial for 34 days. I think I have to pay on February 20th if I want to keep it or somewhere around there. And then of course the other one is every dollar. They both have their pros and cons and I'll probably maybe make a video of why I chose one over the other. Right now I can tell you wholeheartedly I'm leaning towards YNAB because of the options to put in all your investment accounts to put in my mortgage to put in credit cards you know every dollar is owned and operated by dave ramsey he does not believe in debt he does not believe in credit cards or anything like that or calculation and now you can pay for the dave ramsey or you can use the free version i'm not going to pay for it because from what i've seen from the paid videos that i watched all over youtube it's just not going to work for me because i use credit cards i'm sorry i use them I use them responsibly, but I still use them. So I don't want to not use something that can't help me track my credit cards or work the way that I need it to work for my budget. So I do have, of course, you guys know I did have my um, sinking fund stuffing. So I still do have my play money over here, my fake money. So we can still stuff our sinking funds with our play money and we can still stuff our real cash envelopes with cash so if you guys want to see that let me know in the comments below but we're just going to get into the video that i've been rambling too long about what i will and won't do <laughs> and i think y'all get the point now all right you guys so here is the computer screen as you guys can see and i have the wide nav up and i have the every dollar up so what you'll notice is that with every dollar i don't have the paid version you can link bank accounts, but you can't link anything but bank accounts. So you can't link, I don't think any, like, I have to upgrade, to, I can't even, they don't even give you a 30 day trial with um, Dave Ramsey. And his is $79 a month, which is a little bit less than YNAB, but I feel like it doesn't do everything that you need to do. Like YNAB will, and I think paying the extra little $30 is not gonna hurt you at all. It's not even, yeah, the extra little $30 is not gonna hurt you at all. Or 20, cause 79, dollars nine, $20, whatever. Anyway, so as you can see, our budgeting tools are much different. Um, so here in Why Not, I have the full version on trial for 34 days, I think it tells you, yeah, 34 days left and it is $99 a year. And so it gives you budget, it gives you reports and it gives all your accounts. So you'll see here, this is my available balance in all of my checking accounts that are assigned so like i have my main checking account my cash envelope so in ynab and i'll just go through each one and explain so in ynab my cash envelopes is considered its own account even though it's coming out of my checking account the reason why i do that is so that i can move the money out of here into here and i can fully know by a glance even using my app because both of these have apps for your cell phone that $548 is my cash envelope and it will match the balance here. As you notice, my balance to my sinking fund account matches the balance to here and I did that on purpose. My travel one and my emergency fund, they let. So anything that I spend in here that is a separate account, all of its own, like checking account, saving account, I've made it its own account so that way it can match here in the total area and I know that I balance when I get finished and the cash envelopes this type of account is called a cash account so it knows that it's cash and it's not actually in the bank and then i have my four credit cards here y'all see i'm back in credit card debt so these three right these two right here i pay off in full every single month so they will be paid off i think these are due i already paid january so these will be paid off in february 
but I did charge my money child just being realistic and then Best Buy all of the purchases I have on there are interest free so that's why I just pay it over until it's due and then I just paid a little bit of money and then I paid off and then my PayPal of course is just ridiculous PayPal y'all gets me every time like I'll pay it all the way down and then be right back up just because it's interest free for six months I know it's not right I could be using that money to save and I could have three thousand dollars could have been in my seeking fun account and this is why I got to get my life together okay I told y'all I'm being real being really honest I got to get my life together so then I have two loans my student loans you guys know the government and God blessed me and paid off sixty three thousand dollars of my loan so now I only owe eighteen thousand or nineteen thousand dollars rounded up and then my mortgage I owe fifty seven thousand five hundred dollars something like that and then I have money in my 401k so that's what I like about it. I can literally see everything and what this will do, it will remind me to go in and look at these loans and figure out how much I owe and how much I've saved and all that kind of stuff because I never look at my 401k. Um, and it has taken a hit since the pandemic and the recession. I used to have like maybe almost $150,000 in there. So I've taken a hit, I'm at 98. Like my money, the stock market has plummeted and took my money out of my 401k. And you really need to know that information so you can either invest more or change your investments or whatever them people call it. But I'm gonna need to do something because your girlfriend will be 44 and I need to get my, I need to get this up. I need to get my money up basically. <laughs> That's what I need to do. So that kind of helps you, you know, pay attention to what it is that you need to do and pay attention to in your bank account. So I'm gonna make this one big and we'll come back and look at every dollar. Um, so this is my checking account. So like I said, I just put my starting balances in there. And then once you put your starting balances in there, it'll tell you all the money that you have to assign. And I've literally assigned everything down to zero dollars. YNAB is also a zero dollar budget. It's gonna tell you to assign your money everywhere until you get to zero. If you do not, there will be a green thing up there that tells you to assign your money, okay? So make sure you're assigning your money. Um, so my categories are pretty much the same as they were on my spreadsheet. They have changed a little bit because of the way I want to be able to look at these accounts. So for my fixed expenses, we have our mortgage. The book club is now a fixed expense. I do it every single month, so the book club is in there, okay? Um, internet purchases. So internet purchases are, I'm gonna put $100 there in a month. This is a new category for 2023. Because I'm starting back with my cash envelopes, I, I'm gonna take so basically, I'm giving myself $700 a month. So $100 internet purchases are things that I have to buy on the internet that I can't use cash for, okay? I don't like to buy stuff on the internet. The most that I'll probably use this for is Etsy when I buy planner stickers because of course they want a credit card or something, but I pretty much don't shop on the internet. If I do, it goes through my PayPal account. But for instance, if it can't take the PayPal account, then I will go through here and use this internet special. You see, I don't use it up, baby. I got $7 left out of the $100 I gave myself at the beginning of January. It's gone. Um, <laughs> and it's in my every dollar what I spend on, so I can show you guys later. But yes, yeah, so I have $7 left. $7, I bought some planner stickers today. I did have 43, but I bought them stickers, and so now I ain't got the $7. So Alabama Power, my water spectrum, AT&T, Geico, Vivint, Spirit, Waste Management is my garbage people, and I have a buffer of $100 just in case some go down, but I'm very good about not overdrafting my account. I'm very meticulous. And so I spent, I've set uh, spending targets every month. So every month I wanna pay third off for the book club. Every month I wanna put $100 in this account, Alabama Power. So it's basically how much my account is every single month. So those are my fixed expenses. And the newest one, like I said, is internet purchases in the buffer. I did not have those in 2022 or the last time I was budgeting. And then here are my credit cards and i am just putting targets in there what i want to spend every month so my city bank and my regions i put in here that i pay it off every month so it tells me hey you made purchases so now next month you need to pay this full balance so you need to make sure you budget the money for this full balance for the next one and then paypal my target is 600 a month i pay paypal 600 dollars a month regardless i don't care what else going on they give 600 dollars. that's why i need to pay them off you know what i can do with 600 okay i digress but but what can I do with this? A lot. I can put it up in my travel fund and be some somewhere on somebody's island. I, I gotta I gotta get rid of PayPal. I got to. I can't. I can't. Six hundred dollars? I paid the, I've been paying them six hundred dollars, you guys, almost for two years. You know how much money that is? I don't even wanna talk about it. it. Made my head hurt. Made me depressed. We're not gonna talk about it, but I can't do it. I told y'all I was gonna be real with y'all. Six hundred dollars. 
every month at least. I know all of that, all of 20 will do. I don't pay them $600. $600? Yeah, I gotta stop. I can't do this anymore. I can't. I'm gonna have to, PayPal has got to go. I'm gonna have to darn pause it, turn it off or something. I don't know, I'm gonna delete the app from my phone. I, I got to stop. And then Best Buy doesn't have a target. I just pay the $31, I think is what I owe every month or something. I thought I put $31, I don't know what I put. Anyway, there, I'm supposed to have a target. I forgot to create a target for that one. I gotta create a target. I'll show you guys how to do one. So you hit create target, pay specific month, $31. There you go. So now it's saying I wanna pay $31, but I already paid it this month, so we don't have to worry about it. And then for my debt, for student loans, when I start back paying it, right now there's no payment, there's no interest, so it's not gonna be open until they start paying it back until the government decides, child, when they wanna act like somebody go pay their bills. Um, and then here are all my sinking funds. So all of my sinking funds are exactly the same. Where is this gift sinking from? That must be a generic one. Okay, get rid of that. So the new ones to this year are Home Project and the YNAB subscription. YNAB is $99 a month. Sorry, y'all. I sneezed. I had to cut that out. Um, YNAB is $99 a year. And so since my trial is over on February 20th, I'm going to have to have mine. $100 by next month. So this month I need to put in $49.50 when I get paid my second paycheck and then the next $45.50 at the beginning of the month in February. And then my home projects, it's new because I'm usually using my home maintenance fund to fund my home projects. And that's not what that's for. Home maintenance is for if something goes down and I have to pay my insurance company, I need to have my $500 deductible. You girl ain't got but $100 in there, so I'm gonna get my life, okay? And that's if you don't have to pay my deductible and if something truly is broken in the house, like, I don't know the faucet, Blake, I need to call a plumber. That is what home maintenance run. Home maintenance is not really for my home project. It is bringing up the value and I am maintenancing, maintenancing my home, but to me, those are considered home projects. So I'm gonna have a separate fund for that because that's why my home project on my home maintenance fund is at zero is because I spent all my home maintenance fund money on projects and I wasn't even supposed to spend the five hundred dollars but I spent it anyway okay I supposed to at least have five hundred dollars there at all times for my deductible in case something happens to my house now look at me now look at me okay so we gotta get that together um so that's what that is for but everything else is pretty much the same and then my cash envelopes, I have fuel, groceries, household, personal spending, dining out, Jayla, and date night. So this is all that we have. Um, uh, fuel still gets 160, grocery still gets 200, household gets 25, I think personal spending gets 90, uh, no 50. Um, dining out gets 90 now. I was doing 50, it wasn't working out for my life, so we moved it up to 90. I really wanted to be 100, but I'm gonna have to get some stuff paid off like PayPal before I can get myself $100 and that out. Jalen gets $25 and $50 a day and night. And this money is, is exceeded in here is because I have money left over when I was budgeting and started my budget for 2023. And so I just distributed it to my cash envelopes to kind of get me ahead on stuff that I know is going to be expensive. Date night is always going to be expensive. So I need my money in there. I need my money up. <laughs> so that's that. And then my personal travel is my actual travel fund. That's personally for me when I want to take solo trips or go somewhere on a trip by myself. And I have been using just regular money and not putting any money in this account at all. This $261.66 has been sitting here for two years. Yes, you heard me right. Two years. So I need to get that together. So that's that. And then the emergency fund, you know, still has the $5,000 in there. Got some interest in there. Had more than that, took it out and used it, but I know I'm not gonna go below, go below $5,000. So that is basically how YDAB works. If you wanna add an account, like I said, you can link an account or you can use an unlink account. And that's what I do, I just give it a name, nickname, I tell it, so like that cash envelope account, I said it was a cash account. And then once you click, say you click cash account, it's gonna ask you to give it a nickname and tell you what the balance is. And then the next one's gonna tell you, do you pay it off? Do you pay monthly payments? Do you want to pay so much until it's paid off? Those types of things. So that's basically what YNAB looks like. And I really truly think I'm leaning towards using YNAB all of at least for all of 2023 and just see how I like it. Moving on to the every dollar. This is what it looks like. So you, you can switch from how much you spent. It can show you everything that you spent out of categories currently, or you can change it to how much is remaining. And the same thing with paychecks, you can do what you had planned or either what you have received. So I like that as well. So 
In my emergency fund, I have remaining $5,000, but if I go to spend, I have not spent anything out of my emergency fund. I have spent my mortgage money this month, and I like it. You can mark it. It'll tell you what day you reconciled it with and what day it came out of your bank account and, or cleared your bank account. And what I like to do is I like to use the date that it clears my bank account because sometimes it'll be pending for four days, and today's January the 15th, but when it clears, it's going to have January the 10th on there because that's the day my mortgage comes out. So it may not clear for five days which it don't take that long but i don't want to put the 15 when it clear i want to put the day that the bank has on there so if i go back looking through records i can say hey it was this specific day this is the day i need you to look at and see did that mortgage payment clear because they said i didn't pay it that type of situation you know what i'm saying so you got to be very detailed so i'm very adamant about making sure i put the day that it cleared so in this case it cleared the day after which was the 11th um so that's what I like about that. And then if you go down to your cash envelope, so like for instance, groceries, I love, I can say where I spend my grocery. Yeah, your girl was at the Dollar General where she shouldn't have been and dining out. I can see where I go a lot. I've been a sneaky peek twice this month. Trustville Social, I went to Subway and I went and got me some snacks from, from uh, Dollar General, which I consider dining out. And then for fuel, I can say where I went to the gas station to get fuel and just Things like that, like I spent all my money up at Ulta for my per Ulta for my personal spending, ninety dollars, and then um, so I spent at Walmart, and then Jalen, I'm giving her money for like washing the dishes and stuff, so I, I can say I pay her ten dollars wash the dishes, or I pay her ten dollars to sweep the floor, or whatever. I can know what I paid her to do, and then for date night, you know, I went to Iron Kitchen and paid, spent seventy five dollars, so I like that. And then with my PayPal. I can put how much I owe, and as you can see, this is a little bit different than what I just showed you guys in YNAB. Because right now I owe, how much I owe? PayPal? Child. $3,297. So I don't spend some money since I even put this in here. And so if I want to update this, I can put plus, I can put income, and then I can put the difference between what I said I had then to what I said now. I think it's like $211, right? Is that what it is? And you'll see it'll take my balance up, letting me know, okay, Kyoshi, you spent some more money and I can put where I spent that at. And that's what I, so that's how you do credit cards sort of inside of, um, that's a workaround. It's not meant for that, but that's the workaround. You can say, hey, I spent money here. And that's why my balance went up to what it is. And this is what my starting balance and this is why my balance is not going down. It's because your girl is still spending money. And see, it says paid this month $211. But that is what PayPal paid to somebody, not what me, what I paid to PayPal to take my balance down. And see, that makes it kind of concerning to me because it makes it look like that you paid them $211 but your balance went up. Does that make sense? But if I go here and I do expense to $11, so it's kind of backwards, sort of like debit and credit if you know anything about accounting and track it, it'll take it back down. And then it says paid this month would be zero. So you see how that works? I don't like that. So that's how that works. And then of course you can just go in here and delete transactions. So you see, I mean, you can do a lot of things in here, but I really just like from the videos that I'm watching and everything, I just really like YNAB better and I think I'm just gonna be using YNAB to tell you guys the truth. I think I'm gonna just shut down this every dollar. I just did it because it was free and I didn't wanna pay any money, but I'm gonna have to start investing in my budget if I want it to work for me, okay? I can't do everything in my spreadsheet. So yeah, so that's what I plan on doing for the 2023 let me go let me know if you guys have any questions below we're going to go through this process together so like i said i may do it every two weeks when i'm balancing my budget and putting in my new paycheck and that way you guys will actually be able to see because before when i used to put in my paycheck every two weeks it was kind of hard for you guys to see what i was doing but with ynab you're going to be able to see i put in this amount for my paycheck this is the amount of money that i need to budget so i think i'm gonna try that for my next paycheck record it i actually get paid coming up so you'll see it after the fact but i think i'm gonna try to record it when i get paid this next time and kind of see how the flow and stuff goes so i will let you guys see that part um for my first paycheck and we'll just see how we how that goes my first paycheck in ynab i'm super super excited to start this journey in 2023 of saving more and spending less and paying off debt so i don't have that much debt right now to pay off when it comes to credit cards not really worried about the student loans not really worried about the mortgage that will come in time 
but I really do need to pay down that PayPal for sure, okay? And the Best Buy. And so we're just gonna get on it. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, let me know in the comments below. Make sure you guys give it a thumbs up. Make sure you guys subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any more videos from me. And I will see you guys in the next video. This is. <laughs>